Hi guys, as promised, I am back and I'm going to show you how I install my Whitestone Dome Glass on my new Galaxy S22 Ultra. I did the unboxing video for this, so if you want to see the full unboxing video, then I'm going to uh, put the link down in the description also and you can go directly there. So I already uh, added the phone case for my protective cameras. So uh, I really like this one because you can protect your cameras no matter where you go or what are you doing. This is about this dome class and I can't wait to see how I manage because this is my first time uh, putting it myself. It's for the Galaxy S22 Ultra uh, 5G two packs so that means I have uh, I can use it two times the two pack is definitely more worth it than one pack because it's almost uh, the same price maybe only 10 euros more expensive than the other one so it has the premium screen protector I already uh, had installed one of these on my uh, S20 Ultra and the glass is super super cool and so protective and uh, it doesn't crumble here on the side it says full response, full clarity, full coverage, full filling. Okay, it's time to get everything out. Let's see. So we have lots of things here. Guide stickers, screen cleaning cloth. Here are the liquid glue that we have. I think we have one extra because I think you only need to use one of these. The handle, lots of clips, some films here. Here is where we are going to put the phone, the glass that we have. If it's curved or not, if it's uh, with the hole for the camera on the top or not. Yep, it is with the hole on the top. I see some points here probably to let the glue uh, completely uh, cover all the surface probably the UV lamp dome glass or white stone 15 seconds 60 seconds oh yep these are the legs and the cable I'm going to take uh, my case off the phone because uh, I don't think it's going to fit. So first step is to cover with these black films our sides of the phone. So once you covered all four sides and the buttons. The next thing is to add these cotton pads on the side to absorb the excess. It's time to add this uh, big device on the phone. So these two like likes go down. Perfect. Next thing we are going to clean the screen. I definitely recommend turning off the phone so it won't accidentally push something during the process. Now use the dry cloth. And the dust absorber next. Next step is to add this protective film into the top speaker so you remove this and add it just like that it has the exact shape for it here and now add this piece right here it's like a lego piece and this should hold everything in place. Now we will insert this pin here on the top. This 
is going to hold the glass before we will pull it. Next, we will add the bridge, which goes here. If you have any more dust, just blow it away or use the dust remover. And now we need to add the adhesive. So you need to open this pink uh, script up, then put it here. Trust the process, don't rush anything. Now if everything is set, you just unscrew this top here. And wait for all the liquid to uh, pour down. Do another dust here. So once you think that is ready, then just remove the protective film from the dome glass. To remove this. Now we are going to add the handle. And this is going to help us to tilt down. We just need to press here until all the liquid is here. Okay, I'm going to remove it. And I'm going to wait now for it and uh, I hope everything is going to level up. I see down here everything is perfect. Only at the top we have to wait a little bit more. So I'm not going to touch it because I see it's doing good on its own. And just a little bit more on the corner. And perfect! I'm going to plug the Whetstone Dome Glass uh, UV light into my power bank. And I think we can uh, remove everything from here now. Carefully. Okay. And this also. And we are going to cure it for 15 seconds in three parts. It's time to remove everything now. And clean our device. Remove everything from the sides. Taking a second uh, wipe. Okay, nice and clean, shiny. Uh, now it's time for the second cure. So the second cure will be 60 seconds. Middle. And on the instructions, it says here, 60 seconds each for bottom to top, two times. So I'm not sure if it's meaning that you need to press two times for 60 seconds or two times to cure. So I will definitely cure it two times 60 seconds uh, for all three parts. And we are done curing it for 60 seconds each part for two times. So this is the final result. It looks amazing. 
So one thing you need to know about the dome glass is that it's really thick. So if you want to uh, add a phone case, then uh, not, not all of them are working, especially the ones that you, uh, you have to put on the top, like uh, the top part of the case. They come in two parts. So let's add it to the phone case now. And I will show you. So here on the sides, it's perfect. It's not even close. It's really cool. And now I have a protected phone with the case and with the dome glass. So I really hope this tutorial will help you guys uh, put it the right way. And it's really perfect in all corners, not a piece of dust or anything inside impurities it looks amazing i will just need to clean it and i definitely recommend uh, not uh, using it too much the first 24 hours or just uh, be careful how you put it or how you hold it so uh, the dome glass can attach completely with the adhesive on okay i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you soon bye